Hey guys, <laughs> it's really cold. I think I probably picked the worst day to go out and all of a sudden, as I'm walking to my car, it started to snow. I'm so tired of the snow. But I digress. I actually feel like a real person. This is the second day in a row where I actually did my hair and put makeup on. My hair's getting really long, so it's like starting not to do nothing. I'm not sure I'm digging this lipstick. It did not look this pink or this bright. Oh my God, my nose is so cold. In the house. That just goes to show you how bad my lighting is. I'm not, wow, that's really bright. I might have to dab my lips a little bit. But um, let me get my gloves out because my hands are like ice. Oh, my hands. Okay. okay, that's a little better. And I was like, man, that lipstick's bright. But anyways, <laughs> I will get it all out. I'm on my way to pick up my mom. Um, yesterday we hit Hobby Lobby. Today we're going to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a few little things that I need for home decor. I am really trying to um, redecorate some things in my house. The pandemic and the snow and winter has really gotten to be about, I mean, I've been locked up in my house for over a year and I need change. I need change desperately. And for me, the best way to do that is to start making my own home decor. So yeah, I'll pick up a few little pieces from like Hobby Lobby or whatever I find. Maybe you find something pretty at Dollar General or something, but I'll make my own stuff to go with it. So it's so cold guys and now of course i mean it's really snowing now look at my windows like i was out yesterday at hobby lobby my car was completely cleaned off i'm so sick of snow but i'm not gonna let it deter me we're going to the dollar tree so i'm gonna take you along with me i might only do a couple clips and of course i'll do a dollar tree haul at the end of this and um I'm gonna quit talking now, and uh, I need a scarf. Remind me to get a scarf at the Dollar Tree because I need something around my nose and my face. It's so cold. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you just a few little clips from the Dollar Tree we went to. Their Easter stuff is really cute this year. Look at that Easter bag, and I thought this was really cute too. It's a little tray to put all your little dyed eggs on. How cute is that? Man, sometimes I wish my kids were still little so I can still do all the cute little Easter things. <laughs> this store had a lot of really cute Easter decor, um, like signs and such. I'm really not in the market for any of that, but man, some of this stuff was super, super cute, and the DIY potential is like through the roof. I love all these like little pastel colors. And this DT you're gonna see was stocked full of like spring florals. It was like every aisle I went to there was floral. And I thought this was really unique. This is a whole end cap full of all these different kinds of slime and slime additives like to make it crunchy and stuff. Man, if your kids are into slime, that is an awesome Easter basket gift. And look at the spring line. Oh, these colors. It's all me. That teal. And I even love that pink peachy. It looks pink, but it's more peach. I really love that teal and peach color together. And I had a ton of candles. This aisle was really full too. So I kind of just panned and did like an overview because there was a lot to see. But I'm going to pan even over a little bit more and you're going to see a whole bunch of more floral. And then I have, there's another, there's more floral on another aisle. Like this, this DT had a lot of floral, but I love it. I love all the ivy and all the different greens. They had the actual green moss this time too. Usually I can only find what they call reindeer moss and it's always brown. And this DT, look at all the paints. I've never seen that much paints at a DT in the Crafter Square section. This Crafter Square had some good stuff. The only thing that I did not care for at this DT was their stickers were really lacking. You need a I mean, like, look, their, their stickers were a little eh. Lots of yarn, which that's kind of new. And they had a very small section of books. They're but so the other them. stuff in the Crafter Square section was actually really, really good. So I was very surprised with that, but their book selection was very small. 
and this was amazing look at the decal wall these decals are amazing i've never seen so many decals at the dollar tree i was really really pleasantly surprised with all of these decals and you're going to see more of these in my haul that i just thought this decal wall was incredible like if you want to do some cool stuff you need to check out a dt that has a great wall decal selection Okay, guys, so I hope that you like that. Just quick couple little things that I thought were interested that I thought I'd interesting that I'd show you from the Dollar Tree. Nothing major, but I do have a pretty good size haul. And my goal is, as I kind of said in the car, but I was freezing and my thoughts were all conjumbled because I was so cold. Um, um, from sitting in this house <laughs> for quarantine. I am so sick of everything. I want to like revamp my home. I want to take some of the stuff that I already have, kind of like revamp it, put it with some new stuff, make it better, maybe change out some pictures, put some stuff different, keep the picture that I have, but add something new to it, rearrange some things in my kitchen. Like there is a lot of mobile home decorate with me mobile home like I want to redo my whole entire um, pantry I want to redo my whole um, refrigerator I'm going to be doing my whole like my laundry room doesn't have anything in it I want to do a whole laundry room overhaul so there is a lot of those videos coming but I have to get stuff slowly <laughs> so it's letting me blabbing on and on and on because I just blabbed in my freezing cold car and I just showed you some things that I thought were kind of interesting from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you my home decor with some other things. Haul. I have from three different stores. I have from Hobby Lobby. I have from Dollar General and I have from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar General was having 50% off on some of their home decor, so I got some. And Dollar, no, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby was having 50% off of almost all of their home decor as well, unless it was marked spring. If it was spring, it was only 40% off. So, and I thought I'd give you guys a new view. You are in my living room with me today, so I thought just a new view would just, just some jazz some things up, right? Right. All right, let's get into it. So I guess the first thing I can show you is Dollar Tree. We might as well just get it out of the way. So I have some decorative things and then some not so decorative things because it is the Dollar Tree. You get some stuff there. So first thing I pull out, not decorative. But um, this, this Saturday coming is my sister's wedding. So there's going to be a trip to Jersey Shore vlog coming soon. And um, I ain't going to Jersey with all of my gray. Like, girl... Do you see all this gray? Like, so I got me some hair color. I have used this color before from the Dollar Tree. It works great. And it's only a dollar. It's a dollar. So I got that. So I got some floral foam for project that's coming up. I hope this stuff is easy to cut. I didn't get the green stuff because the green stuff, when you work with that, it just crumbles into a million pieces. So I got the foam. But I hope the foam is easy to cut because I definitely have to make this a couple pieces. Then the only thing I was disappointed with the Dollar Tree's wooden section to the particular Dollar Tree that I went to is they didn't have any wooden letters. I really wanted wooden letters. Oh, I might have to actually break down and buy the stinking wooden letters from Hobby Lobby that are $5 a piece. But I got this adorable little tray that I'm going to snazz up for a very like the next couple of days you're going to see what I'm doing with this in a project and I loved this too with a paint marker of course I'm going to paint it and all that stuff but this is going to be an adorable piece that I'm going to be using together with this one in an upcoming um makeover mobile home makeover coming very soon I'm very excited about it okay uh, let's see what other bags I got over here Let's grab this one. Okay. So, I got these. I loved these. Woo! They're, like, all throughout the bag. They're just calling this garland, but, of course, I have a different plan 
for these. I got two of them. Very pretty. So I got two of those. Oh, <laughs> remember I was telling you guys when I was freezing cold, the car to remind me to get a scarf. I got one. And I found one with my favorite color. Look how pretty this is, guys. And it has the gray and the white. Let me get this up. Let me just open this. And it's like a fleece. It feels like a fleece. Does it say fleece? Yes, it does. That's exactly what it feels to. It's so soft. I'd love to have a blanket. This would be absolutely beautiful as a blanket in my house, in my living room, because these are my colors. Look at this. Look how pretty. This would be a really pretty table runner, too. Look at how nice and full and fluffy this is. Look how pretty. I just love it. Okay, I'm wasting so much time with the scarf, but I was really happy with this. They had some really pretty ones that I've never seen before, but teal was my favorite color, and this is just really pretty, and it was so soft, and now my hair, I just made a total mess. Okay, so next stuff I got. Uh, I got a uh, dry erase board that has the magnets on the side. I was really hoping to find another color, but then, then this vibrant neon green but that's all the color they had at my, and I got this because I'm going to be doing my meal planning weekly. My weekly meal planning is going to go right here on my refrigerator so that I don't stray from my meal planning. If you guys watched my last plan with me, I explained why meal planning is so important to me right now and all that other stuff. So that is another step towards making meal planning a goal. I picked up two of the Crafter Square canvases, Crafter Square canvases. I need to slow down and say my words correctly. This is the 8x10. They do have larger ones, but this particular Dollar Tree did not have any larger ones. If they had a little bit larger, I would have went larger. But again, these are for projects. So I have those. Then I found these in the Walklings, which I did show you on the section of Walklings. This Dollar Tree, like the Walkling section was like, wow. I really haven't seen a Dollar Tree have such nice walkling section. And I found a couple that have like, um, like words on it. Like you would see at Hobby Lobby on like a frame. And that's my idea exactly. I'm not going to stick these on my wall. I'm going to make something with these. But the sayings that are on here is something you would totally find like at Hobby Lobby. So this one says, wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. That is adorable. And the font is so pretty. Like this, the font, the saying, that's totally like something you would find at Hobby Lobby. I just need to find a nice big picture or canvas or what I have in mind to put this on. So of course this is great for a bathroom, which I want to do a bathroom overhaul too. Total, total bathroom overhaul along with my laundry room. So because I want to overdo my whole laundry room, I want to do all of it guys. I need pictures. I want to put plants in there. It needs new shelves, the whole thing. I found this one. It says laundry room, drop your drawers here. <laughs> and it has like a little arrow. Is that not the cutest thing? And if I remember correctly, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I think I saw one that had this exact saying on it. Drop your drawers here. That's adorable. So another one I found for the laundry room. Look how cute. Wash, fold, dry, repeat. And it has like a little laundry basket. A wash, like it looks like either a washer or a dryer. And the little towels. Guys, this is the kind of stuff that you would see at Hobby Lobby. But like I said, I'm not putting these on my walls. I'm going to make like actual like big pictures for these. And I'm going to be using those in my laundry room. I cannot wait to do my laundry room makeover. I just can't. And my bathroom makeover. And my kitchen makeover. <laughs> I'm just so excited about doing some things. Okay. My next bag. Let me put these. I'm so excited about these wall clings. Okay, so my next bag, oh, this is just cleaning stuff, but it's necessary. So I picked up this 
uh, classic final touch fabric softener. It says it's spring fresh, spring fresh. Oh yeah, it has a nice smell to it. So I picked this up and then I picked up um, a totally awesome cleaner with bleach for my bathroom. You know, cleaning is life. You gotta have cleaning products. So I needed those. I put a box, that's a pretty good deal. I think I have one more bag. Oh yes. So in this one, I got this um, tall soap dish. That's what they're calling this, but I'm actually gonna be using this in my kitchen sink to put my sponges in, because I hate putting my sponges on my counter. So I have that. Then I thought this was a really great deal. This is Spa Soap Ocean Breeze Foaming Soap, and it's 16.9 ounces. Look at the size of this thing. Look at, like, that's huge for the Dollar Tree. And if it foams up nice, it looks like it's gonna. Oh, yeah, and it has a nice scent. So I was really shocked with this. Because, you know, usually when you get, like, soft soap, soft soap is usually, like, 6.9 ounces. This is, like, triple that. <laughs> So I thought that was a great deal for a buck. Then I got these. I think this is the last of Dollar Tree. Which you get two for a dollar. The clay terracotta pots. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, everything floral, I mean everything floral, was in these little terracotta pots. They were freaking adorable. I wanted to buy like so many of them every single one even though all of their home decor was 50 percent off a terracotta pot with some floral in it was like 19.99 so even with 50 percent off you're still gonna pay eight dollars and i my, my mom had gone with me and i'm looking at my mom and i'm like mom i can make this from the dollar tree for like three dollars because you're gonna get two terracotta pots for a dollar you get the foamy stuff that's a dollar and then have whatever floral you get and they're they're charging twenty dollars nineteen ninety nine for pots this size I, I couldn't believe it so I'm like I'm going home and I'm trying to see if I can do a total total Hobby Lobby dupe Dollar Tree style and I'm going on and on <laughs> I'm just so excited I'm going to insert a little clip right here it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> I don't have to share this little portion of my life with you, but I'm going to because I just think it's so funny. Um, it is very obvious to me now that I have restless leg syndrome and I am now trying to sleep back in my bed and I have been for about a week and my less, my restless leg syndrome is so bad that I actually have worn a hole into my sheets and if I'm not careful and get that covered up, <laughs> I'm going to put a hole in my mattress that because my legs just stopped. My husband told me the other day, he's like, babe, I know you are sound asleep because you're actually snoring. He's like, you are sound asleep snoring. And he's like, your legs are still going. He's like, your legs are going a mile a minute um, while you're sleeping. So I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I hope that isn't a bad thing. So while I was at the Dollar General, I watched this new seat, seat, sheet set. I tried to say those two words together. It's for the king. It's a four piece sheet set. <laughs> uh, so I imagine that your, you know, your sheets, your, your, your sheets and your two pillowcases, right? Yeah, that's what I imagine it is in this like little gray print. While I was there. I was looking at all of their comforters and I'm like, you know, I think it's time for my husband and I to get an adult comforter for our bed instead of using this tiger print thing that I always use constantly. I'm like, I, maybe it's time for us to grow up and actually get an adult <laughs> comforter. So if I do, I might go back to the Dollar General to get it. So Dollar General was having 50% off of select, mind you, select. Um, home decor this being one of them so it was ten dollars of course with 50 percent off I got it for five look I love this I love this I love the floral I love the silver the galvanized I love all of it so they had two there 
so I bought both of them. Whether I'm going to keep this together, I don't know. I might use this floral for something completely different and this jar for something completely different. I don't know if they're going to stay together. <laughs> because you, that's me. When I buy things, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to put it out like this. I have a feeling I'll be using this floral for something completely different and this for something completely different. But I did get the last two because I love the vase and I love the floral. So this floral is super nice, guys. Look at this. And even that, this was originally $10 from the Dollar General. Got it 50% off, so I only paid five. But one of these teeny tiny little terracotta pots with half the floral of that $19.99 at Hobby Lobby. Even that, even this beats that. Like, I just can't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up about that now. <clears throat> I know I'm talking a lot. I'm very excited. I, I want to do it all. Like, I want to do it all today. Can we do it all today? There's no way I can do it all today, but I want to try. Okay, so the so next thing I got from Dollar General, I'll show you these first. So I've mentioned this before in many of my Dollar Tree hauls. Supposedly Dollar Tree got one of these meat mashers. I, I yet to seen it. So I did see it at Dollar General. And it was a buck more. Uh, no, it was a 50 cents more. So I paid a dollar fifty instead of a dollar for the meat masher. I really, really wanted one of these. Every time you guys see my cooking videos, I always get comments. Missy, you need one of those meat masher things. <laughs> because I use the end of my spatula and then my pot flips up. So guys, I got one. I got one. It was only 50 cents more than what I would pay at the dollar store. So I was like, I'll just buy it here. And then I bought this beautiful dish. Again, it was 50% off. So it was a ceramic serving tray, $3, so I got it for $1.50, and I'm going to be using this on by my kitchen sink to put my soaps and stuff on because they're leaving rings all over by my um, sink, and my, stink is, my sink is stainless steel. These S's, they, they mess with me, man, and um, I'm afraid they're going to leave like rust rings, so I really want to put like my soaps and stuff on something. So I got this serving tray to go on my kitchen sink, part of my rehaul, my, my, my decorating for my kitchen. And then the last thing that I got for home decor from Dollar Tree. So this was $4 with 50% off, so I got it for two. Together is my favorite place to be. Guys, I'm telling you, something like this at Hobby Lobby was like $25. Wait, I'm going to show. I got my Hobby Lobby haul coming. It's next. But something like this seriously at Hobby Lobby was like $25. No lie. It was originally four. I got it for two. And it's like a frame. See? This is so adorable. So stinking adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, it. I love all this home decor. And see, I want to get a piece of wood, something, something very similar to this, just like a little bit larger, like this much bigger. And that's what I'm going to do with these. I can't wait to show you how I do all that, but I got to go get the wood. So I got to go to like a wood store, which that sounded really dumb. I need to go to like Lowe's or Home Depot <laughs> to get some wood. I'm going to make my own pictures because I ain't paying because these signed ones at Hobby Lobby, even with um, the 50% off, still would have been like $29. Some of those were like $59.99. They're beautiful, but why are they so much money? Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, so that's it from the Dollar General and Dollar Tree. A few things that I did pick up from um, Hobby Lobby because I was just shocked about how much money they, this stuff was. Okay, so I got this. Okay, this, this was part of the spring line. This is how I found out. So where this was, was in the home decor section, of course. So when I got it to the register, I'm thinking it's, you know, 50% off. And she's like, no, it says spring on it. It's only 40% off. Okay. So <laughs> I only got this one for 40% off. But it's, uh, I love it. 
I, I know it's really simple and plain, but with the idea that I have for this, I think it's going to look adorable. Like even this together, like it's going to look adorable when I'm done with it. Okay. And then I got this. Okay. So this was $17.99 with 50% off. Isn't it beautiful? So right now my utensils in my kitchen are in a, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> They're in a, um, vase, a flower vase. So the opening, no lie, is probably no bigger than that. So I can get like three utensils in it. And I, I don't know. I love my new utensils on my counter right next to my stove. So when I saw this, I was like, this is the perfect utensil holder. They had other ones there, okay, that were for utensils. And they were like $10 more. And the reason they were $10 more is because they said utensils on them or had like a design that says utensils. Like they had like a flower and then it said utensils. And I was like, I have a cricket. I can go home, get the Ray Dunn print, and print me out on vinyl utensils and put it on my own jar. So I'm going to use my Cricut <laughs> and make me my own utensil container. So that's what I'm planning on doing with this one. But I thought this was absolutely beautiful. And that's why I picked up the white dish because I just figured they all kind of pull together. And then the next thing I want to show you is this one. Let's grab it. Ooh. Okay. Again. It says spring. So <laughs> I got this one 40% off too. So this one was $7.99 with 40% off. But it says gather. And it has like the little beads and the tassel. Like here's the little tassel down back behind here. I love it though. And it says gather. That's for my kitchen. I can't wait to do this. And then the last home decor piece that I have to show you guys a piece of resistance okay so this one was $14.99 with 50% off so I only paid seven dollars for it I love this it says make room for what matters isn't it beautiful isn't it beautiful I love it and guys it's canvas can you hear it in the wooden frame so that's what I'm saying like, this is from Hobby Lobby, originally without anything off, $14.99. It's just canvas, right? It has a beautiful saying on it. When you can go to the Dollar Tree, and they do, like, I've seen them. I wish I could have found them bigger. But you can get canvas from the Dollar Tree for a buck. And look, like, turn this way. It's, I think you can get them the next size up, which wouldn't be this long, but it might come to, like, right here and you get these beautiful wall decals and you can make your own for like three or four dollars <laughs> and that's my intention <laughs> so or like this too or you get yourself like you go to um you know um Lowe's or Home Depot and you get them to cut you a nice piece of wood and you do the decals with maybe a beautiful print because I could have picked up some other wall decals that just had like prints or designs or like this leaves or something on it and I could basically do the same thing so but I couldn't pass this up I had to get it for seven bucks I thought it was a really good deal so that is my home decor haul that I wanted to share with you guys today I really hope that you guys enjoyed this I know this video was a little lengthy with the haul and I showed you a little bit of stuff that um, I saw at Dollar Tree and my little rant in my freezing cold car. <laughs> but I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this haul and this time that you shared with me. Thank you so much. Please, if you are new to my channel and you popped in because you saw it was a haul and um, you're excited about home decor and mobile home makeovers and 
all that kind of stuff, then please subscribe, stick around because there is stuff coming, not to mention my mobile home clean with me's. Plus I do a lot of journaling videos. I do reviews for Dollar Tree. Well, I don't do them for Dollar Tree. It's not like I'm sponsored or anything, but I buy products and then I review them. <laughs> if you're any of that, you know, tickles your fancy, please hit the subscribe button. Before you leave my video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Go down down to my Dropbox. All of my social media links are down there. I have Patreon. I have a uh, Lovey Crafters group on uh, Facebook that we have a lot of fun there. We do project shares and card swaps and all kinds of stuff there. And of course, I have like five Instagrams. So <laughs> go find me. We can connect in other places. And that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great blessed day. Take care of you. As always, stay creative, journal what you love, take care of what you have, and make life beautiful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!